Accordion in action. Ja, is die weer hoor. Trouwe kijkers. <laughs> Oké, okay, oh. Hallo! <laughs> ik denk dat ik een nieuwe komijn heb ge gevonden. Ik vind deze zo vet. En hij is ook niet busted, dus. En ik hier wat mee ga maken. En. Met dank aan. Uh, ja, eigenlijk mezelf gewoon. Deze. Dit was mijn eerste uh, command die ik sowieso wilde doen. Want deze is ook vet. Daar heb ik ook al een paar leuke dingetjes voor. Om te kunnen scavengen. Nou, dit, dit had ik al natuurlijk. Is er nog wat? Ultimate foils. I gotta switch to English. Yes, fun. Now, well, it's more separling. Uh, it's not uh, it's not fungus. It's more uh, separling and sacrificial things. But yeah, we're we're for this, of course. But let me show you what I got here. I uh, just uh, collected all my cards that I had some use for this deck. But this card is so cool. I want to use that. And this one is amazing. Sacrifice all your crap. Sacrifice it. Get it again. No, I don't want a mox. Give me those carns. Foil carn bonanza. I don't have any use for that mox. So oh, not harmonize. Yeah, well. So, two more decks for me. Love it! Alright, let's check out the pre release promos. I thought let's just talk about some cards. See who joins. If not, well, f screw that. <laughs> Let me grab a knife. Uh, there we go. Hooja! Yeah. <clears throat> nice pack again. I'm glad that they uh, used those boxes again instead of, uh, well, crappy shit. Hello. <clears throat> All right, let's see what the promos are. I see something red. I see a goblin. It's Chain Whirler. And oh! <laughs> well, 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 well. We have the same card again. <laughs> oh, mm. that's cool. That's cool. And this one, Chain Whirler. Yeah, it's crazy. First strike, three three, pings everything. Well, not everything. Each opponent, each, each creature, and the planeswalker. So, yeah, well, basically everything. Cool. I think this is pretty good. However, if this would be a sealed pool, this will be hard to play along this one. So it's probably gonna be a choice which one. Well, let me put that right here so you can see them. It should be a choice, but it all depends on these boosters, of course, which we're gonna open later or in a minute. I mean, any useful tips? There you go. That's how you have to build it. Screw that shit. We know how to build. Which color is the die? Green. Cool. All right. I don't know. I really like this card at the previous. I played it. So, um, yes, I do. <laughs> Stupid ass Joost. All right. Well, let's just open up some packs and see. Uh, See what we can build with this sealed pool. Let's just go by them one by one. All right, so we have the chain whirler for the red stuff. Let me put it right here still. And uh, nice historic matters over here. Good start, but uh, could go any, any way. Uh, any, uh, well, you know what I mean. 
Screw it, I can't talk English tonight. I'm, I'm tired and I just want to see what we have. Wizard stuff. Returning incident and sorceries for, well, that's six mana, but still, useful card. Put it in the red pile here. Here we go, ramping into big ass things. It's a good, a good card, two drop. It's fine. Rat colony, colony. Only uh, <laughs> well, it's a nice two drop. If if you really don't have anything else, <laughs> not bad, not really good. If you have, well, you can draft it, but yeah, this is sealed. Befuddle, nah, not really that special. All right, historic. So let's keep an eye out for historic cards because I really like to play that. This is a nice two drop anyway. It's a knight as well, so serves a lot of use. Ah. Another fun for the goblin stuff. Yeah, it's playable. Don't know if it's uh, auto include, but divination, nice filler card if you don't have anything else. Power stone shard. It's a historic card, but uh I don't know. I've never seen this card in play. So yeah. This is a good card. You can easily play this card. Oh, yes. Bailoth, Gorger. Yeah. It's a good card. Uh, I think we have a foil. Hmm. Fokarn! <laughs> Alright. Uh, board the Weatherlight yeah, finds historic cards. So, yeah, I, I played Esper with uh, the Vona, or is it? Yeah. Or oh, Rona, sorry. Not Vona, Rona. So this could be useful. Not sure if I want to play it instantly. Oh, Wizards Lightning. It's good if you don't have a wizard. It's good if you have a wizard. So auto include in red. Doesn't matter. Play it all the fucking time. All the time. Bird. Steward of the Archive. Yep, that's another historic card. Ugh. I think this card is shit. Let me read it. A nice card right there. First Eruption. What does this do exactly? One damage to each creature without flying. Okay. Get some mana. Okay. Sacrifice a mountain if you do three damage to each. Okay, so it's basically a sweeper. But I think this would be a uh, cyborg. I think. I would never play this. Well, depends really. Together with the chain whirler, you have two pingers. Interesting. But we don't have a foil. I thought we had a foil. Excuse me. So far, I don't really have a heading yet. I think red is the best color so far. Obviously, you have the most cards as well. So, let's see if we can find some more stuff. <coughs> There's a lot of powerful commons and uncommons in this set, so... Alright, it was a nice filler card. Not the best card. It's good to play, though. There are a few uh, equipments that you can could get rid of, so it's fine. Soul Savage, Salvage, Salvage, sorry. <laughs> that's a good card. Returns two creature cards. Mm. That's a nice blue card right here. Syncopate. <clears throat> also a good trick. Yeah. The reason why I'm talking about every card because I'm going to upload this in my story of Instagram or maybe even YouTube. So uh, at least it has some use. Nice for the aggro plan. Not sure if you want to play it. I've seen it a few times. It's uh, pretty pretty good, actually. Hey, one of the ramp cards. Good for the green. It's just 7-6. Uh, hey, Whew. this could be really important. This is a historic card and it's mana fix. And there is not so much mana fix in this set. And uh, yeah, this could be a really important card for the historic theme deck. If we could ever make that. Also a really good card, 4-4 for, for flying, for a little bit more than you used to be, uh, used to, but uh, it's playable, it's definitely good. Another historic card, aggro-ish, not the best card, but it has flying, so it's good with uh, equipment. Run amok, it's good for the red deck, yeah, definitely, trample. 3-3, three, three, oh, hold up, I thought it was 3-1, plus 3, plus 1, but no, it's 3-3. Three, three. Oh, that's good. That's good. Urza's Tome. Uh, yeah, no. I'm not gonna play this. Whatever. Oh, yes. I love this card. This will definitely go in the historic deck. Oh, 
I want to make the historic deck as well. It sounds really fun. Ooh! Hold up. <laughs> we could even go like this and use well, the Chain Whirler and the three deck. I don't know. This could be uh, interesting. I like that a lot. Hold up. Um, okay, mana fix. Do we. Uh, it doesn't really fit in anything yet. Hmm. I could. Yeah, no. Well, it's a nice card. I like it. Oh, <laughs> nice emblem. Oh, I really want this now. But do we have enough wizards for this one? Because. Well, it doesn't have to be a wizard deck, of course. This is a. Ah, uh, it's an ar artificer. Damn it. <clears throat> All right, let's see what we can find more. Dark Borgen. This is actually not that bad, but it's not really the card that you want. And we yeah, don't really have enough uh, black stuff yet. Ooh, Arcane Flight. That'll work in this, in any deck actually. I like that. Dub makes knights. That's a good white card. However, you need creatures. Frenzied Rage, oh, a lot of auras, good for the red aggro deck, could be a thing, maybe <laughs> historic aggro, oh, nah, I don't know, Gaia's Protector, yeah, if you don't have anything else, it's fine, Divest, nice sideboard card, I think, if you can't get rid of any cards, <clears throat> Sap Herd, this is a nice card, I like this card, however, it's green, ooh, Really important card for uh, historic things. You get a lot of artifacts, and you could even. Oh no, no, you can't. Yeah, you could have. Yeah, you can untap this one, so you can use it in your uh, next. I don't know. It's a good card though. Two, uh, one, three for two. Good blocker as well. Yeah, this is a good bomb as well, right? Flying, scrying, mean, green, and unseen. Ah. <clears throat> Oh yeah, this card. Uh, I'm not a big fan of this card. However, it is a flying 3-2. It is a sort of tutor for your Rona. It's because you put cards in your graveyard. But it's a little bit too expensive for me. Okay. If we go aggro red or mono red, this could be a thing. Oh, this one. If red source you control would deal damage to a permanent or player. That'll show... Okay. Combo corner right here. Hold up. Requires some timing, but <laughs> with the last one, five damage to each creature. Oh, whoa! That's cool. And they're both historic, actually. So this could still be a thing. Grixis with uh, historic things. Hmm. This is also a good card for your fungi decks. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> More historic. Okay, power of toughness, one or less can be blocked. This is a really good, strong card. You need some uh, things with it, though. Hey, why is my music so loud all of a sudden? Get out of my way. Sorry. Um, Yeah, this is a good card. Playable. Hold up. Uh, green is starting to look really good, too, now. This one uh, is a dinosaur. One of the... Yeah, I think it's the only dinosaur in uh, Dominaria. You can kill things with it, so this is a really strong card. If you play green, you gotta play this one as well. Uh, I'm gonna make some choices later. I don't think we can make this yet. Uh, maybe red, green, aggro. I don't know. Let's see. We have three more boosters with this one, so get out. Get out. Alright, a wizard. It's not the best wizard, but it is a wizard, wizard nonetheless. This is good with your uh, sagas, but uh, yeah, good for the aggro stuff. This one with the uh, plus two damage, Ugh, this is crazy. Five damage and three damage to each. I think, yeah, it does, right? Yeah, this works. That's pretty good. Big ass spiders. We like me some big ass spiders. Good card. Okay, this is a good black card. Better in uh, with all the separating matters, but uh, still. Hey, historic. 
I like this little card. It's a bird flying. We just need some more equipment. Good white over here. Removal. It was. Uh, oh, hold up. Maybe we can do funky stuff. This this is good. Another one. Two of these makes it maybe even possible to play that stupid ass uh, chain whirler in a historic deck. <laughs> Fungal infection really good too. Easy two for one right there. Right there. More historic matters. Nice combination with this stuff. Which one do you like? You don't like this one, or you like the uh, the assistant? Let's go to the next one in the meantime. Oh, that compass! No, it's really important if you make the historic uh, deck. If you don't have the historic deck, then no. But uh, yeah, it's a, it's an extra trigger for only one mana, so that's that's, that's really good. I like that. I would have loved some of those of those in my pool. Yeah, this is uh, this is nice. Extra cards. Okay. Um, yeah, sacrifice artifacts. You can sacrifice all those compasses. Nice. Oh uh oh. Oh, I think Grixis could be a thing. <laughs> I think I would make that. It's kind of wonky, but uh, this is quite good on its own as well. It uh, boosts itself, of course, as it's like a mega prowess. This could be a thing. And oh, hold up. Oath of the Fairy. Yeah. Uh, exile permanent, return it. Yeah, without a planeswalker, this is uh, really expensive and not really playable. Sadly. Four color historic? No, I'm joking. All right. Okay, let's see. Come on, give me some good cards. Another syncopate. That's definitely good. So we have two syncopates of those. Ah, historic. However, in the wrong colors. So, mm, oh man. But maybe it's just a two drop then. Hey, another one of these. Yeah, we already have one of those. Good mana effects. Okay, uh, we do have some mana effects, but yeah, if we play green, we could splash maybe. I don't know. Oh, another red colony. <laughs> well, you would play definitely two of those, I think. Rescue. Yeah, kind of niche. <gasps> yes. Okay. More mana effects. Wow. I didn't expect this one. Hmm. Another historic card as well. Definitely one of the most important ones. Gives you the red mana. Another Baleth. Oh, this is gonna be hard. This is a good card, especially with flyers. Green is starting to look really good too. Oh man, what am I what, what are we gonna do? The lance is great. Yes, another good black card, finally. Oof. Okay. If it's right, destroy target creature. It's uh, one of the best removal, I think. Champion of the Flame, we do have some uh, auras, at least one uh, really good, and the dub here, and this one, the uh, lance, could be interesting in red, oh, white is starting to get better and better as well, oh, not a Tatsuko, <laughs> oh, hold up, oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> dang, okay, hold up, hold up, <laughs> So, uh, historic could be definitely a thing, especially with all the artifacts over here. Oh, dang. Fucking hell. Um, okay, that is insane. Uh, it's, it is, this is, <laughs> this is rather crazy. <laughs> yeah, okay, uh, let me hold up. Hold up. So, great. Okay, so this could be a thing now. Uh, I think uh, the Esper or... Uh, yeah, I, I can't do four color. I can't. However, we do have this one as well then. If we, if we go four color, which is crazy by the way. This is uh, useful as well. But it is maybe even possible with all the mana effects that we have. We have two compasses. Yeah, I, I want both of your Teferis if you want to trade this shit. 
Let's finish up with uh, the boosters first. Dang, another card. God damn. Healing Grace, yeah, that's okay. It's a filler card. Wizard. If you could run another wizard, yeah, okay. Definitely interesting. Okay, green is good with this one, but I don't think we're gonna go green. Historic! Hell yeah! Balls to the wall. Oh, this is our second second uh, arcane flight, I believe. Yeah, yeah, we do. Uh, I think. Uh, I can't see it now. I don't have my hands free. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Must Sergeant at Arms. That's a good white card. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna make it with this card though. Depending on what we have. Another Power Stone chart. Uh, yeah, we already discussed that one. Ancient Animus. That's a good card in uh, green. Oh, fucking hell. Okay, why definitely got some potential to add in the deck. I, maybe, yeah. Uh, Esper. Or, yeah. I think Esper would be a thing. So, white. Oh, another Guardians. <laughs> white, blue, uh, black again. Like I did before. Okay, yeah, another Coilos. Oh, cast down, yeah. Premium removal. Mm -mm. Okay, dumping sphere. Good modern card, everybody is hyped to buy the card, but yeah, we're not gonna use this one. Ooh, another Garna, fucking hell. What am I gonna do with this pool, man? This is crazy. And a Tempest Gin. <laughs> yeah, right. But, it is possible. I think. Especially with those two compasses. Uh, and this one. Those compasses will be really, really important. Oh, nice. <laughs> Fucking hyped for this stuff. Okay, so hold up. Let me check. Um, let me check. If we go Esper, we're gonna cut these two. <laughs> yeah, I, I can... This is not so bad if we cut this one. That's fine. Hey. What the hell fell down? <laughs> Something fell down. <laughs> Oh, okay, right. Doesn't matter. Uh, the Oath is really good with the corn, uh, and it is a historic card. And yeah, this one is good too. Oh man. Okay, let's see if red is worth the trouble. I don't think so. I don't think so. We have not so many. Uh, yeah, we can't do the sort of aura theme together with the whirler over here. So that means that we are gonna cut. Yeah, we can't play the Wizard's Lightning then. Well, we could actually with two Navigator Compass, maybe. And I, I don't think so. I don't think red is worth the trouble. These are okay, but yeah, it's whatever. Why would I? I had some experience with the historic stuff, so I think I think that's pretty damn good. I could splash, maybe splash uh, red for maybe these two. Because this is a pretty good card. But yeah. Let's just set that aside for now. Because I think we have enough in Esper to build the deck. Meaning... Um, yeah, it's a shame. But I definitely would, wouldn't go for green. Screw the green. It's alright though. But uh, this is better, I believe. Just use the artifacts and everything. Okay, so let's get some auto includes in here. If we go Esper, hold up. Okay, so these two are auto include. That's that's perfect. I like that. So put that here. So those are the lands. We're gonna use this one then because it has a nice effect. You can use it. Triggers historic maybe even twice. So let me, I uh, don't have any space. <laughs> okay, we're gonna play this one. We're gonna play this one. Screw it, we're gonna do it. We're not gonna play this one. We're not gonna play this one. We are gonna play this one, of course. We're gonna play this one. We could even lose one of the compass, maybe. Um. We're not gonna play the stones and not gonna play this one. So we have some nice top end. This is nice with uh, the Oath of the Fairy, maybe. And also funny with uh, your compass, it gains you life. 
That's pretty cool, actually. So, hold up. Uh, I think uh, maybe this one? I think so. Let's put this aside for now. Uh, hold up. I'm losing my mind here. This pool is insane. I would love to play with this. Okay, so uh, the seal away is instant hit. Uh, we're gonna play with the historic theme cards. Let me get them out of here. Uh, this is a historic card as well. Okay, let's uh, do white first. Okay, so for me, oh, it's not actually. Okay, yeah. Uh, depending on how many legendaries exactly we have, we're, may we're maybe gonna play this one. I like this card. This is removal. This is a good card with your historic stuff, a lot of artifacts. This removes cards, instant, another one of these. Yep. And uh, that's it for me that I wanna play instantly. Let me check the rest. Oh. Okay, premium removal has to be played. <sighs> we have a lot of removal actually. Maybe black isn't the best card though. Depending because this is only one black card, so this is basically it. This is the only card. Uh, sorry, these three are the best for the historic themed. And, uh, but uh, maybe it's not worth it. Maybe if we lose the Rona, well, we can splash the Rona. Okay, hold up. So make let's put in blue first. Got a lot of good uh, blue cards in here. So we definitely want one of those. We want this one. <laughs> oh yeah, we had two of those. Two arcane flights, what the hell? Okay, wait, I want this one. Uh, I, I gotta put it on my curve. Okay, let's, let's uh, lose black for a minute. I'm not convinced anymore that we wanna play black. Uh, but we do gonna play this one then, because I forgot about that one. Maybe red. Mm, yeah, black is better with the splashes of the uh, red stuff. But, uh, okay, let me put it on a curve here. Get out of my, get out of my way. Welcome! See me it's building a deck. Okay, so this is four, this is five, two, four, uh, five, five is top end, uh, one. <laughs> One, put it in the screen. Three. So one, two, three, four, five, yes. Uh, two. Two. Let me put it here, actually. Uh, one as well. Okay, maybe we could lose one compass. Maybe. Another more two drops. Jeez, we have a lot of two things. Two, 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 two. But that's, uh, that's all right, though. Um, so... Yeah, of course, one of these, because it's, uh... oh man, hold up, let me put it like this so you can see it better, there we go. I don't know if I want to play a second Tatsuko. Um, it could be aggro as well, what the hell am I going to do with this pool? Uh, fucking hell. So we could, what if we add red? Is that, is that useful? Is red useful? Hello. <laughs> oh man, this is so hard. Um, is red useful? This is historic, this is good. Pings my own stuff though. Well, not actually. Uh, red, yeah, I, well, we're not gonna play this one, I think. Um, yeah, this is I, I can't play this card in a three color deck uh, yeah okay so black is out so not play this one uh, these two I don't know um, it's hard I don't know I could do it two arcane flights uh, and I need creatures I need more creatures Okay, so what if we do play this one? <laughs> Just because we have two of the compasses, it's maybe possible. Mm. 
Okay, this is a fine card. Uh... We have one, two, three, two drops as in creatures and a one drop. So I don't think I want to play this one. Oh my God, this is insane. I don't know what to do. Okay, so we're splashing this one. Fuck it, we're gonna do that. Of course we have uh, Isolated Chapel, which helps a lot for that only card. So we can play even one Swamp maybe. Uh, with that said, maybe we could splash a little bit more. Is it splashable? The removal splashable? No, I think we have enough removal. Uh, so we splash black for that. We don't have enough wizards, but this card is good. Can't we add green? <laughs> I have no clue. Green gets us the uh, higher top end, but it's yeah no, it's it's no green for me. Uh, this is a good card actually. Yeah, let's add that one. The Master at Arms is nice, especially with uh, the Tetsugo. Tragic Poet is not... That's terrible. Okay, let's add this one in for a 6 drop then, sort of. Put it over here. Yeah, it's kind of hard. I don't know. As you can see, I'm struggling. But, uh... I would definitely go historic something. But, uh, you know what? You can figure it out on your own. But it's a nice pool though, I like it. Maybe the best way isn't the uh, way that I'm going. Maybe it's better to do the um, Grixis things. You can add the Karn, of course. You can add the Compasses. You can you can actually add the Coilus dudes too, so we can lose the Teferi Oath, because that's only good with the Karn, but you don't really need it together. You just get a lot of cards, but this one works really nice with these Ultimate. Get more artifacts. Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of hard. I think maybe it would be better to play uh, some aggro things. Yeah, this is this could be nice. We have four wizards. Let's see if we have some more wizards in black. Uh, if this is this card a wizard? No, it's a warrior. Okay. Well, in that case, yeah, black is really not that good. Just uh, for these then. And does the battlefield return to your hand? Good cards. Really... Okay. <laughs> Crazy ass card, actually. <sighs> yeah, well, I give up, else this video goes on for ages. <laughs> At least you know, this is what Dominaria can do to you. I'm really happy with the pool, though. Uh, nice cards. And uh, yeah, maybe you can send me a few messages and tell me what you wanted to do if you uh, saw the whole video. I'm actually uh, quite curious if people actually watch these things, but yeah. <laughs> anyway, thanks for joining. I'm uh, gonna take a shower. <laughs> I'm sweaty as hell. <laughs> and uh, yeah, check me out in the next video.